If you are taking a class that is fully online, your instructor will most likely use the discussion board to communicate and discuss different topics. These topics could be anything but are usually about a specific chapter you read in your textbook, video that you watched, or some other learning objective in your course. Some instructors choose to use a different tool called a blog for classroom discussions. It is important to note that many instructors take attendance based on your participation in the class discussion board or blog, so it is important that you log in and post frequently and in no case less than directed by your instructor. This will help you avoid receiving a substandard grade or worse, being dropped entirely from your course. This short tutorial will demonstrate how to use the discussion board. Discussion boards are areas where instructors and students post information to each other. Each post is called a thread. This demonstration will show you how to create a thread, subscribe to a thread, rate a th thread, and reply to existing threads. First, locate your discussion board. This might be in your navigation menu. or your instructor may link directly to it from within assignments. Lastly, you can also find the discussion board under Course Tools. If you cannot locate your discussion board, then you will need to contact your instructor. Next, read any information posted by your instructor under the area Description. You may also need to refer to your syllabus to see what your expect expectations are for your discussion board, such as the length of your posting and how many other students you must respond to. When you have finished reading this, simply click on the name of the form under the column Form to take you into the discussion board. Now, depending upon how your instructor has set up their discussion boards, you may see a button Create Thread or Subscribe. Most times, you will be able to create a thread. Some instructors may not allow you to create your own threads, but rather reply to their thread. If this is the case, you should already see a thread posted by your instructor that you can read by simply clicking on the thread name. From there, you can click on the reply link to post to your instructor's thread. To create a th thread, click on the Create Thread link. You must give your thread a subject. Next, type your post directly into the text box editor. You can use the nice formatting tools to bold, italicize, underline, bullet, number, or even indent your text directly in Blackboard. Make sure to check your instructor's posting guidelines, usually in your syllabus, but could also be posted elsewhere in your course, to see whether you have specific instructions as to the subject of your thread. Blackboard also allows for file attachments to discussion board threads. Most instructors ask that you do not attach files, so make sure that you are following your instructor's guidelines before attaching files to your discussion board threads. If you need to use the attachments tool, click on the attach a file link. Next, click the browse button and locate the file on your computer. From this point, all you have to If you are not finished at this point and need to return later, click on the Save Draft button. We do not recommend saving drafts for later. However, there are times where this tool might be useful for you. If you use the Save Draft button to save your previous 
draft, you can access that later by using the display menu available to you from within the discussion board by simply clicking on drafts only. After clicking drafts only, you will see your previously saved post where you can click on the small chevron in order to open the draft. Once you've opened the draft, locate and click the edit button. You are now back into the area where you had previously typed your post. Type in your changes. Finally, once you're ready to post, click the submit button. Now, you need to learn how to reply to another student's posting. To do so, locate another thread that has been posted by another student. To read the post, just click on the name of the thread. Read, the po read your post by your classmate. If you choose to reply to this post, click the reply button. You can also choose to go to the next thread by clicking on the next thread button. Just like when you created your own thread, you can type your reply to your classmate by typing in your response into the Blackboard text editor. Once you have typed in your response, click on the submit button. Now that you've learned how to create threads and reply to existing threads, you may now wish to subscribe to other students' threads. That way, anytime another student posts to a thread you've already created or that you've replied to, you'll receive an email. Remember that all emails go to your West Hills Community College District student email that's assigned to you by the college. If you wish to receive all responses on the discussion board via your college email account, simply click the subscribe button. That's all you have to do. You will now receive email notifications for this particular discussion board from this point out and will not need to come back and check Blackboard for future replies to your existing threads. Please note that not all instructors allow students to subscribe to the discussion board. Blackboard also gives you a few other options we will review briefly. First, there are thread actions. Depending upon the settings made by your instructor, you can mark a discussion board as read or flag it for later reading using the Thread Actions menu. You also have a button called the Collect button. You can use this button only after you have checked the threads you wish to collect. Doing this will display as many threads that you select on one page for easier reading. From the discussion board page, you also have a list view and tree view option. This option may be useful for you when reading discussion boards where many students have replied with an existing thread. Simply click on these options to determine what suits your individual preference. Lastly, from within a thread, you have the option to swap the thread name and responses from the top to the bottom. You can also minimize or maximize the thread to display more or less on a page. If you are having technical difficulties with the discussion board, please contact the help desk. Please note that our help desk cannot make a discussion board available to student view. This is something your instructor must do. Again, if you cannot locate a particular week's discussion board, please contact your instructor directly.